Hi, this is Paul from paulbradby.com. I wanted to go through my new Xbrat Algo and just give you an idea of where you're going to be looking for entries, where your stops would be, looking at risk to reward in respect to some of the major support and resistance zones here. So the Xbrat Algo is uh, it's quite a complex strategy, but what I've done is really just made it very, very simple. And all of those points of control have been hidden. So whether it's a, a combination of the uh, MACD, Stochastic Cross, lots of EMAs and lots of other uh, secret sources that, that, that I use to, to do these trades, I've, I've really, really made it simple. And it just prints that six star, as you can see at the bottom, six star buy, okay? So the first thing you've got to do uh, on any chart is, this is the three minute chart, but I want to go, and I want to look on the 60 minute chart, I want to see all of my major support and resistance zones on the 60 minute time frame so with metals algo because there's only four metals i actually put the zones on there for people but a lot of the time is you can see here let's just zoom in um, on the 60 minute time frame this zone on gold here you can see there's multi there's a good touch to the bottom of that zone here it tests it again recently it tests the high of the zone recently again this is an old zone by the way it's been on there quite a while but it's tested quite a lot then we've got this other zone here we tested the top of the zone where my pointer is down uh, here uh, we've got a lot of clustering around here we've got support here we've got support here again we've got resistance these are good strong zones on the 60 minute so then when we get the signals on the three minute those zones are still on the three minute chart from the 60. We've got to work out, have we got enough fresh air for this long risk to reward to that particular um, zone? So the thing is to do first is we, uh, whenever we get a pivot, I always like to put a, a red line on there because that's where, if there's, a, if there's a potential entry, that's where my stop's going to be, below that pivot, because if it breaks it, it's going to go down further. So then we get a six, six star buy on this candle. I want to enter going through the high of this signal candle here. So when we get that six, six star signal print, uh, the candle closes, we want to make sure we want to go high just above there. So in this case on gold, the entry would have been 1890.2. My stop loss is down here, okay? I just use a quick fib extension tool. I click once on the stop loss the second time on my entry and then the third time on the entry again just drag it across that gives me a risk reward of 1 to 1.6 to the bottom end of that support and resistance zone so there's a decent risk to reward there to end you know to the next danger zone if you like then we're in the trade it pulls back we have a nice pullback and again if i was using elliott wave that would be a wave 4 pullback but right now the algo takes care of that okay we get another six star buy yeah we get another six star buy on this algo here on this candle now if you've missed this trade and you want to get in this one this is where the, the 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 support and resistance zones really come into play here you've got to be very very careful with this so if I just remove this risk to reward there for that one, that's a good trade. Now, stop for this one will be, let's just, let's just adjust this stop from here. Okay, so it'll just be below there. My entry is this is the signal candle here is right right the top of that is right before the resistance zone there's no risk to reward we don't get in if we've missed this signal we've missed it okay we're going to be looking for signals on the 15 minute or higher time frames that have pushed through this resistance zone getting in just before the danger is a is it, there's a too much risk there the trade was further down and again, I'm just going to go through how to draw that. So here's my stop. We get that first entry. I go to my FIB extension tool. I click once on the stop. I go just above this uh, signal candle here. I click once. Then I drag it along. So I've got my risk to reward at the same price. And I click uh, the next time. So we've got three clicks. We've got the risk to reward. Great looking. Uh, you know, it was a great trade. It was a perfect trade. We've got lots of fresh air 
and that's the trade of the day okay and that trade now is at 1890.2 uh you know there's there's 60 ticks to that resistance zone it's now at around about 80 ticks that particular trade you only need one of those a day that's 800 dollars per one contract on gold uh and that's you know that's it the idea is that we've taken all the noise away all of these indicators whether it's Elliott Wave whether it's MACD stochastic cross um, what I thought of you know what I think of when I'm trading it's been put into an algorithm it gives you that trade uh, grades it three star to six star six star being the highest probability and the thing you've got to do then is get your support and resistance zone some basic uh, charting craft if you like uh, and I will be covering how to do this in further videos as well uh, on whether it's currencies or stocks or anything like that once you've got those on you framed your chart if you've got enough risk to reward placing a sensible stop below a recent pivot and an entry above that signal candle then you go for it because the the mechanisms to give you that six star are very very strict I'm a rules based system uh, trader and these are very very strict rules uh, and they combine all of those decision points and it's a good six star trade I mean in the end this six star is still going but there wasn't enough risk to reward there um, you know there's still strong signals but as a safety point of view you need your support and resistance zones in so hopefully this has helped and we're doing lots more videos of these with lots of different examples whether it's on metals uh, currencies or, or, or anything else just to give you uh, the lie of the land and how to trade the XBRAT algo